Hi, welcome to our second module. In this presentation, you will learn the different breeds of cattle and buffalo. The presentation in this module will be divided into four parts. The first part will focus on the temperate and tropical breeds of beef cattle. The second part is a lecture on the stabilized breeds or the cross between temperate and tropical beef breeds. The third presentation is dedicated for the breeds of dairy cattle, while the fourth part is for the breeds of river and swamp type buffaloes. Note that there's a lot of breeds out there, but we will focus only on the most popular breeds. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify the breeds of beef cattle, identify the breeds of dairy cattle, and identify the breeds of buffalo. These are both dairy cattle and produce milk as their product, but they differ in appearance. That is because they came from different breeds. Then we ask, what is a breed? Breed is a close or semi-closed population within a common gene pool which is more or less from a gene pool of the other breed population. A Holstein Frisian and Jersey are example of breeds of dairy cattle. To practically distinguish breeds, breed points are used as guides. These are specific details of the breed's distinct standards such as color, horn formation, length, and shape of ears, color of twitch, and many more distinguishing features. Let us begin identifying the breeds producing beef. Breeds of beef cattle differ significantly in many features and traits. Please note that no breed is superior to other breeds, however, some breeds are more popular than the others. There are breeds that are specialized for beef alone, and others are dual or triple purpose types. There are two types of cattle, and their sources or origin can be identified by the presence or absence of the hump. Note the location of the hump. The hump cattle or the Bos indicus are the tropical breeds and include the cattle from India, Pakistan, and Southeast Asia. The tropical breeds are normally represented by the zebu and are characterized by the mentioned fatty hump on their shoulders, a large dewlap, and sometimes drooping ears as shown here. On the other hand, the humpless cattle or the Bos taurus are the temperate breeds originated from Europe and Northern Asia. We start with the tropical breeds. Gujarat are among the largest cattle of India and are priced as a powerful draft animal and are moderate milk producers. Gujarat cattle have a short, broad face with the long ears drooping and open to the front. Color varies from light gray to black at maturity. Gujarat cattle are maintained as pure breed in India and Brazil. The gear is one of the principal zebu or Bos indicus breeds in India and is used for both dairy and beef production. The gear is distinctive in appearance, typically having a rounded and dome-shaped forehead. They have a long pendulous ear and the horns which sweep back and spiral up. The gear are generally mottled with color ranging from red to white. Nelor is also known as Ongole. Actually, there was never a breed called Nelor in India. It was in Brazil that some authors started to use the name Nelor as synonym to Ongole, the Indian breed that contributed most to the creation of the Nelor. Brazil has become the largest breeder of Nelor. They are white in color with black skin, muzzle, and tail. They have comparatively long legs which help them walk in water when grazing. Nelor have the shortest ear of most Bos indicus type as shown here. They are also horned and when present, these are described to be thick brown that point up. Next is Krishna Valley. Krishna Valley originated from India and was believed that evolved from breeding three breeds including Gir, Nilor, and Mysore. The animal is large having a massive, deep, broad chest, but it is loosely built. Their color is gray-white with a darker shade on the forequarters and hindquarters in the males, while the adult females look more white. 
The horns, when present, are curved slightly upwards and inwards. As you can see here, the ears are small and pointed. The red sinhi originated from Pakistan, but due to its hardiness, heat resistance, and high milk yields, they have spread into many parts of the world. They are normally deep red, rich red color, but this can vary from yellowish brown to dark brown. Males are darker than females, and when mature, may be almost black on extremities such as the head, feet, and tail. Afrikander or Afrikaner arisen from the long-horned zebu and the Egyptian longhorn, and is probably the most popular indigenous breed in South Africa. The breed is typically red, which can vary from light tan to deep cherry red. They have long lateral horns of a flesh to creamy white in color with amber tips. It is a heavy beef type animal and has a good meat quality but show lactational anistrus in times of environmental stress. Now let us discuss or identify some of the most popular breeds of the temperate beef cattle or the Bos Taurus. The Charolais originated from France. They are white in color with pink muzzle and pale hooves. Charolais is a naturally horned beef animal, but through the breeding up program where naturally polled breeds were sometimes used as a foundation animal, polled Charolais have emerged as an important part of this breed. Limousine also originated from France and was believed that the breed was as old as the European continent itself. The head is small and short with a broad forehead and the neck is short with a broad muzzle. Coat color is golden red and a lighter color under the stomach, inside the thighs, around the eyes and muzzle, and around the anus and end of the tail. The skin is free of pigmentation. Next is Cimental. The name Cimental is derived from the name of the areas where the cattle were first bred the Sime Valley which is in Switzerland. The color varies from gold to red with white and may be evenly distributed or clearly defined in patches on a white background. The head is white. The majority have pigment around eyes helping to reduce eye problems which occur from bright sunlight. Cemental can be horned or pulled. Chanina is the largest breed of cattle in the world and have short hair that varies from white to steel gray in color. Both sexes have black pigmented skin, including a black tongue, palate, nose, eye area, and switch. They have short horns that curved forward and are usually black in the younger animals but became lighter beginning at the base as the animals mature. The most noticeable characteristic of the breed is the extensive and well-defined muscling. Chanina originated in Italy. Beef Shorthorn is a temperate breed originated in England. Shorthorn comes in three colors, red, white, and roan. This is an example with a roan color. Solid red shorthorn are often used to help maintain solid colors in crosses while white and roans can be used on black cattle to get both blues and blacks. Hereford is colored dark red to red yellow with a white face, crest, dewlap, and underline. Most animals have short thick horns that typically curve down at the sides of the head, but a pulled strain is present. The origin of the Hereford has been lost over time, but is generally agreed that it was founded along the border of England and Wales. Herefords are known for their well-developed regions of valuable cats, the buck, loin, and the hindquarters, or round. The Aberdeen Angus breed, or internationally known as Angus, was developed from the polled and predominantly black cattle of Scotland. They are naturally polled and can be black or red in color, although black is the dominant color. White may occasionally appear on the other. Angus are renowned as a carcass breed because they have a high carcass yield with a nicely marbled meat. 
And that ends our short discussion about the temperate and tropical breeds of beef cattle. You may now proceed to part 2 of this lecture, which is on the examples of stabilized breeds resulted from years of crossbreeding of the different beef cattle breeds.